Welcome back, you're watching The Globe. Now a story that really, really excited me. A team of Zimbabwean students have just been crowned world champions after winning the 2022 International High School Moot Court competition. Now, Zimbabwe was the only country representing Africa in the international virtual event with a team of nine girls and two boys. The students were selected from different schools around the country and uh, this was the first time that uh, Zimbabwe complete, competed in this prestigious competition. And to tell us a little bit more now, we're joined by uh, the team's coach, Ngobile Dube, and some of the uh, team members, Palesa Sugauke, uh, Kuziva Kuleya, Hazel uh, Chige, Tadiwa Choto, and Chievo Mkonowe Shuru. Uh, thank you so much indeed for joining us. Congratulations and well done, world champions. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Nobile, let me start with you as their coach. You must be very, very proud. Tell us, first of all, what on earth is Moot Court? Well, uh, Moot Court is um, a simulation of court proceedings um, in actual uh, courts. So with this competition, it was a simulation of proceedings in the pre-trial chamber of the International Criminal Court. So the children were given a fictitious case um, about war crimes that had been uh, uh, committed in a, in a conflict. And so they had to argue as prosecution and as defense. All right. So tell me about uh, the process of selecting this fine team that we have in front of us here. Oh, yes. So um, the, all these uh, team members are actually excellent debaters. Um, they've participated in the Oxford and Cambridge Finals Day competition that we held. And that's where we actually uh, selected them from. Some of them who are not here at the moment are actually members of the Zimbabwe national debate team. So we definitely looked at their debating abilities and then we had about a month of um, very, very intensive training to uh, get them at least to be accustomed to mooting all right, let's talk to the winning team. Let me start with you, Rubimbo. Uh, you are the team leader. Uh, what a responsibility. And I'm so excited also that there was so much girl power coming to the fore here. Are we saying that <laughs> girls are better debaters than men? <laughs> uh, well, it was indeed a surreal experience as we were not only representing our schools, but we were representing Zimbabwe and Africa as a whole. It was absolutely surreal and we got to work together with the two boys indeed. <laughs> and we got to show that women and men can work together to produce something that is extraordinary and something that the entire African continent can be absolutely proud of. Wow. Palesa, had you guys done any law before? I mean, this must have been quite an intense journey to, to get up to speed so quickly. Um, I don't think anyone on this team has had any experience in the field of law. And it was definitely a new and exciting process and was very intense, especially because sometimes we might have not known what we were doing. Mm. But I think we managed to persevere, as we can see, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kuziva, um, what did you learn on this journey? Um, definitely how to argue better, but it also just came down to like some of the idiosyncrasies that come down to like yeah. international law. We always see it online, especially now with the Ukraine conflict. But a lot of us, especially like teenagers, don't really understand the more no side of it, and this definitely helped us with that. Uh, Hazel, um, what, what do you think this does for students? I mean, you guys came from across the country, and uh, you came and had to work together, I guess. Um, I definitely think, at the end of the day, it was an experience that allowed me yeah. to interact with people that otherwise I would have never spoken to. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
um, in general, I think for students, it's it's a social opportunity, obviously, yeah. but it's also a learning curve, like just opening doors to opportunities otherwise you wouldn't have had. Yeah. yeah. Tadiwa, how hard was the competition? What were the other countries like? <laughs> um, it was very interesting. In terms of the hardships, we were very well prepared. So by the time we got into the competition, thanks to amazing teamwork and the amazing coaching skills of Coach Nkobile, we were ready for it. So in as much as it was hard, we were very prepared for it. So there wasn't really any challenge in that department. And uh, Chievo, I mean, parents must be extremely proud of you guys, eh? Uh, did you get support from home? What have they been saying? Thank you for that question. <laughs> Actually, my parents are very supportive. All of our parents have been driving us to school during the night, on the weekends, and I'm sure they were concerned about us <laughs> neglecting our studies, but we've been putting work okay. in both fields. Yeah. So yes, our parents are very supportive, and they were very proud and very happy to see us raise the Zimbabwean flag high. Uh, Nobile, um, the president, has he congratulated them? I mean, this is a national treasure <laughs> that we're looking at. Um, not yet. Oh, not you're yet. joking. Um, but I'm sure now that we've appeared on, um, on all these news channels, I'm, I'm sure you'll hear about our achievements and I'm sure you'll reach out very soon. Yeah. All right, Palesa, how would you encourage, um, I don't know, other students to get involved in debating and to moot court and that, things like that? Because it, it, I get a sense that, you know, I'm looking at the future of the continent in front of me and communicating must be one of the s strong things that you need. Um, I feel as though to, I don't know, encourage students, especially our mm. peers, to be engaged in debating and activities such as this. Um, just looking at the social benefits that you can gain from activities such as debate. And I feel like that's a huge motivation to inspire people to, I don't know, follow in our footsteps yeah. or be even better than us, hopefully. But yeah, I think. I suppose, Rumba, one of the things that we have to get over on the continent is this idea that uh, uh, the rest of the world is bigger and better. And you guys are proving that uh, from here, you can conquer the world. Indeed. And I believe that once we set our minds to this whole tournament, yeah. once we trained for it, once we prepared yeah. for it, we were ready to become champions. And within every single route, every single country that we went against, we were proving more and more that we were fully capable because, by the way, Zimbabwean talent is amazing. African talent is amazing. Yeah. So I think we just continue to show that with every single round that we went through and that showed within the final that we are indeed made of many wonderful talents that the world deserves to see. Kuziva, how do we get more guys on this panel? And I'm hoping, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping as well that actually this is, <laughs> this is a, a lesson for us that in the future, when we walk into cabinet, when we walk into parliament, that we're going to see many, many more female voices. Kuziva, your thoughts? Um, I think it's always corrective, like especially for someone who comes from an all-girls family. I know how much intelligence <laughs> and intelligence comes from females, so I think it's always wonderful to see women up on stage. When it comes to guys, I think you just have to put your mind to it. Like when a guy wants to do something, he'll really do anything for it. And I think that's what happened here. Even now, I'm really pushing a lot, so I just... I'm just happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Chievo was talking a little bit about parents' support. Hazel, do you think, though, that, I mean, I, I grew up in Zimbabwe, and uh, I know what Zimbabwean parents can be like. Um, is there pressure to succeed? <laughs> I think, okay, obviously there is pressure, but I think it's just one of those things that, like, they want what's best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get that. Um, but... Once you do succeed, it's a whole other story. So, like, when you're in the process, it's a bit yeah. different. But now when you're on SABC, <laughs> it's, a, it's a new story. 
it's like, okay, yeah, I understand that difference. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how many of you want to be lawyers maybe going forwards? Taniwa, is that something that you <laughs> thought of? All right. <laughs> Rosa. I'll take one for the team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so some of you might think about law as a, as a profession. You're all very... Uh, highly educated, very bright, so you can almost do anything you want. Um, is this some, an area that some of you might think about? Anyone answer? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Some are thinking about it, but they're just not here with us today. But they're definitely yeah. considering a, a career in law. So, Ngobile, what what's your feeling about seeing young people like this. I get very excited about the future. Uh, I get a feeling that our continent has a real chance to do amazing things when I see young people like this. You're working with them all the time. What, what's your feeling? What are you seeing when you see these young, young talented people? Um, it's, it's, it's really quite an amazing experience. I can definitely tell you that I can see the future and hope for Zimbabwe and just for the continent as a whole, because what I can definitely testify to yeah. is that there's a, a tremendous amount of potential amongst these young people. So um, the only thing that they just need is guidance. The only thing that they need is opportunities. And uh, believe me, if you put these young children in the right positions, they're going to transform the fortunes of this country and of this continent. We have to believe in young people. All right. We've run out of time, but I want in uh, 10 seconds each for final word to everyone watching. Uh, I don't know, final thought, uh, maybe even just say hi, mom and dad. Let's start with Kuziwa and work our way to, <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> Kuziwa, hi, final mom thought? And dad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just want to say hi to my seniors, two of them. One of them is young, and Meza, and Yasha and Daryl. They definitely helped me get to where I am today, so thanks to one of them and all my brothers at school. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. You guys, you've done us proud, uh, not flying just the Zimbabwean flag, but the uh, continent as well. We're very proud of you, and I'm hoping I'm looking at a future president uh, among you as well. Take care, and uh, we wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there you have the Zimbabwe uh, National High School's Mute Court Competition winners, uh, international. They're the world champions, can you believe it? There were 11 of them. Uh, we just uh, managed to get six of them on tonight. So full team doing amazing, amazing things. And as I said, I'm getting really, really excited when I see young people like this doing amazing things. All right, we're going to